Welcome back everyone. So in this session we are going to look upon the arc and the sector and we are going to look upon the definition, we are going to look upon various dimensions based on those uh, such as area and perimeter and length. So firstly let us have a look at the definition of arc that we have read in the chapter of circle as well that a piece of a circle between two points is called an arc. As you can see right over here PQ are the two points and if I take the major part the longer part then it would be a major arc and if I take the smaller part then it would be a minor arc. I hope it makes sense to you. Proceeding towards the sector. Now let us have a look at the definition of sector. The area between an arc and two radii joining the center to the end points of the arc is called a sector. So here as you can see this is a sector. This right here is a major sector because it is made up of major arc. This is what major sector and this is my minor sector. This is minor sector. This is major sector. This is minor sector. Now, if I talk about major and minor sector, so uh, there are few things I can you know calculate right from here as you can see this sector is measured with respect to theta only. So let us firstly start from this calculating the length of the arc. So length of arc, if I talk about the length of the arc, let us say here I am talking about minor one, minor arc AB. Now, as you can see this entire circle is what 2 pi r and if I talk about one part of a 2 pi r, let us say it makes uh, angle of 1 degree, right. So it would be what? Let us divide firstly divide this entire perimeter, this entire perimeter in 360 equal parts and then what is the length of this part AB? this part AB. What will be the length of this part AB? Because it is taking this theta, it is subtending this theta. So if I divide this 2 pi r into, I have divided this 2 pi r into 360 parts, that is one complete revolution, 360 degree. And since it is taking only theta, subtending only theta, so I will just multiply it by theta only. I hope it makes sense to you. So that will be the length of minor arc AB. If what if I talk about length of uh, major arc AB, major arc AB. So that would be what? 2 pi r upon 360 into 360 minus theta. I hope it makes sense to you, right? Similarly, if I talk about now, let's move to sector. Firstly, let us calculate perimeter of sector and here I am talking about minor one, minor sector. So as you can see minor sector is composed of O, A, B and minor sector, the perimeter of minor sector is what? Firstly, we have taken the circular A, B. Now circular A, B is what? Nothing but 2 pi, as you can see, if I again this, this circular A, B, this length of the arc is what? This 2 pi r upon 2 pi r upon 360 into theta and then what is what else is there? So we have the length of OA as well as the length of OB also, right. So let us consider that and OA and OB is nothing but 2r. So what I am going to do, I am just going to add 2r over here. So this would be the perimeter of the minor sector. Similarly, if I replace theta by 360 by uh, minus theta, so I will be getting the perimeter of major sector. I hope it is clear to you. Now coming back to area of minor sector. Now as you can see, area of minor sector can be calculated as what? See, this complete area is what? Pi r square this complete area is pi r square and if I divide this entire area into equal 360 parts, so the one part area would be 360 degree 
and I want to get the area of this theta part, right. So, theta would be a angle which comprises of various 1 degree angle, right. So, let us multiply that value by theta. So, this will be the area of minor arc. Similarly, we have to calculate the area of major arc, then we will be replacing theta by 360 minus theta and that is how we can calculate the various quantities such as length of arc, major, length of major arc, minor arc and then perimeter and area of sector. I hope it makes complete sense to you and that was all about the theory part of this lecture. Thank you so much.